Just like we have borders or fences to protect us, our Earth also has its own fence that protects it from harmful solar radiation and cosmic rays. But unlike our fences, Earth's fence is invisible. Scientists have discovered that this protector of Earth can become a reason for it to be destroyed. But why? Welcome to Cosmos Lab, your one station for all the news from space. Join us in today's video to find out about the Earth's magnetic field and how it is going to destroy us all. Earth is surrounded by an immense magnetic field called the magnetosphere. It is generated by powerful, dynamic forces at the center of our world, with a purpose to shield us from erosion of our atmosphere by the solar wind. Erosion and particle radiation from coronal mass ejections and cosmic rays from deep space. Our magnetosphere serves as a gatekeeper, deflecting unwanted energy that is damaging to Earth's life. The Earth's magnetosphere shape is a direct result of being bombarded by solar wind. The solar wind compresses its sunward side to a distance of only 6 to 10 times the Earth's radius. The bow shock is a supersonic shock wave created sunward of Earth. The majority of solar wind particles are heated and slowed at the bow shock before deviating around the Earth in the magnetosheath. The solar wind extends the nightside magnetosphere to possibly 1,000 times the radius of Earth. The exact length is unknown. The magnetotail is the name given to this extension of the magnetosphere. The magnetopause is the outer edge of Earth's constricted geomagnetic field. The magnetosphere of the Earth is a highly dynamic system that reacts drastically to solar changes. But not all the particles can be stopped from the magnetic field, and some of them enter the Earth's atmosphere through the magnetotail. This is the reason behind the beautiful auroras that we see in the sky. All auroras are created by energetic electrons that rain down from Earth's magnetic bubble and interact with particles in the upper atmosphere to create glowing lights that stretch across the sky in a mesmerizing blue, green, red, purple colors. The magnetic tail is what causes these auroras. It is an extension of the magnetic field that we experience when we use a compass. That is not it. Our entire world is encased in a magnetic bubble formed by a melting dynamo in the Earth's core. Out in space, the solar wind pushes against this bubble, stretching it and forming a long magneto tail in the downwind direction. This tail spreads out and also sends a magnetic lashing to the moon once a month. On a global average, the magnetic field has weakened by around 9% over the last 200 years. However, paleomagnetic studies suggest that the field is nearly as strong as it has been in the last 100,000 years, and is twice as intense as its million-year average. 565 million years ago, Earth narrowly dodged a catastrophic collapse of the electromagnetic field that shields our globe. According to researchers, if it had collapsed, life on Earth would have faced serious challenges since the solar wind would have stripped the planet of its atmosphere and assaulted the surface with dangerous radiation. Researchers discovered that our planet's core solidified just in time, recharging Earth's magnetic field when it was at its weakest point. A new discovery sheds new light on the origin of the Earth's core and lends credence to the hypothesis that the Earth's core is very young. Scientists looked at single crystals of plagioclase and clinoproxene that originated 565 million years ago. This information enabled them to reconstruct the timeline of the Earth's inner core's nucleation or solidification. They discovered unusually low geomagnetic field intensities, demonstrating a high frequency of magnetic reversals at the time implying that the geodynamo was on the verge of collapsing. The age of Earth's solid inner core has long been a mystery. Estimates of when the inner core solidified range from 2.5 billion to 500 million years ago. 
The nucleation of the inner core may have occurred just in time to replenish the geodynamo and save Earth's magnetic shield. The weak magnetic field 565 million years ago was caused by fast tectonic action, hyperfrequent polarity reversals, and even an equatorial dipole. The magnetic field of our planet is thought to be formed deep within the Earth's core. Nobody has ever traveled to the center of the Earth, but physicists have deduced its likely structure by analyzing shockwaves from earthquakes. The Earth's core is a solid inner core that is two-thirds the size of the Moon and is mostly formed of iron. This iron is as hot as the Sun's surface at 5,700 degrees Celsius, yet gravity's crushing pressure keeps it from becoming liquid. The outer core is surrounded by a 1,242-mile or 2,000-kilometer 2 thick layer of iron, nickel, and trace amounts of other metals. Because of the lower pressure than the inner core, the metal here is fluid. Convection currents in the molten metal are caused by differences in temperature, pressure, and composition, and the outer core, as cool, dense stuff sinks and warm matter rises. Swirling whirlpools are created by the Coriolis force, which is caused by the Earth's spin. This flow of liquid iron produces electric currents, which in turn produce magnetic fields. Charged metals moving across these fields generate their own electric currents, and the cycle continues. This self-sustaining loop is known as the geodynamo. Because of the spiraling induced by the Coriolis force, the individual magnetic fields are nearly aligned in the same direction, with their combined impact producing one huge magnetic field surrounding the globe. The inner core, which is thought to be solid, is located at the deepest level. This generates the Earth's magnetic field, which shields us from cosmic radiation. But this shield has been behaving strangely for some time. The magnetic North Pole and South Pole exchange locations around once every million years as the field's polarity reverses. The last time this happened was roughly 780,000 years ago, and it was previously thought that the process would take thousands of years, shifting at a rate of about one degree every year. However, these and other major shifts in the direction of the magnetic field may occur 10 times quicker than previously thought, and roughly 100 times faster than recently reported changes. What do you think about the vanishing of Earth's magnetic field? Share with us in the comments section below. If you like the content, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Until next time, have a great day and thank you for watching.